I know that you've been scouring the internet for pieces of land and you've found one that you really like, but there's some research you're going to need to do ahead of time, your little due diligence. And there's five websites that I need you to look at. In an effort not to waste your time, the first website I'm going to tell you is the GIS. If you are looking for it, just go type into Google GIS and then the county name, and then you'll see the website right away. Click on that and then you can enter in the property address of the piece of property that you're looking at. Sometimes they'll just have like the parcel number and you won't have an actual property address. As long as you have that parcel number, you're gonna be able to research that piece of property. The GIS has all sorts of information on there. The website might even have maps of the area that's showing things like roads, rivers, lands, and uses of patterns of topography and other other features. You can look up information about specific properties, including ownership, zoning, and tax assessments. And just a little FYI, if you can't find it there, you can always go to the tax assessor's office and look up that same exact piece of property and with the parcel number, and it will tell you who owns that piece of property. That is very important. While I was editing this video, I realized that I need to explain why it's so important to find out who the owner is. And this happened to a subscriber of mine. They had bought a piece of land online where they had a notary come to their house and they signed a bunch of paperwork. They said that the title was theirs and they went ahead and bought it cash with a cashier's check. The day that she decided that she was going to put her brand new manufactured home, which she also bought cash to be delivered to that specific piece of land, the neighbor comes over and says, what are you doing? That's my piece of property. Come to find out it was his piece of property. And she thought she was doing the right thing. She got a plat map. She got the survey from the company, but the whole thing was a complete scam. So always do your research ahead of time. If you can't find it on the GIS website. Always look on the tax assessor's website and look up the parcel number so that you can verify who the owners of that piece of land are. I don't want you to get scammed, so that's just something to be aware of. The website also has information about natural resources in the area, such as forests, wetlands, and wildlife habitat. You may be able to find information about air quality, waste management, and other environmental uses. Some of them even have data on population, including things like age, income, education, and employment. Not all of them do. So just, just FYI on that. But a lot of them do have information on transportation, roads, bridges, that kind of thing. And when you're looking there, you can also find out if the piece of land that you're looking at is landlocked. Now, some states do have landlocked pieces of dirt. Not all states will allow for landlocked pieces of land to be sold or even as a thing. I get that comment a lot on my videos, but in some states they do allow for landlocked pieces of property and they are sold. That means that if you have a landlocked piece of the land that you're looking at, you have no access to that land. You would be trespassing to get to that piece of land. There's no clear road to get there. So when you look at this specific website, it would let you know. But if you were thinking in the future and you happen to see on that map, they also have proposed construction for new roads and it might be right next to that landlocked piece of land that you're looking at. So they, if they do have proposed construction and it's gonna be done in the next few years, you might be getting yourself a really good deal because at the time that you purchased it, it was landlocked. It is something to think about, but I know that here in my state of Louisiana, whenever they say that there's proposed construction and they say it's going to like start in 2023, it doesn't start until 2025. Just keep that in mind. So <laughs> you may want to know what their timeline is to put in that new road by that landlocked piece of land. The GIS also will tell you if there's any kind of like fire departments close by or any other kind of like emergency services. Those are things you're probably going to need to know, especially if you're building a house on that piece of land. Land, just you check that website. It should have everything there. Some websites have more information than others, but it's always a great place to start. Speaking of great places to start, if you happen to live in a flood prone zone area, I think the best place for you to go is FEMA.gov. If you go over to there, you're going to go ahead and type in the parcel and find out if this specific piece of land is in a flood zone and what is the rate of the hazard in the area. This is going to be important for you to know, especially if you're going going to be building a house on this specific piece of land because flood insurance has gotten to be very expensive, very, very expensive. So you're going to need to know and understand if this area is already in a, let's just say, AE flood zone that is a high hazard area, your flood insurance for that specific area is going to be a lot higher than in a flood zone X per se. Now, if you happen to live in the state of Louisiana, another website you're going to want to check out is mapslsuagcenter.com. 
They have all the maps for Louisiana and it shows you all the elevations and hazards and it's completely up to date. So that's my favorite one to look at if you're in Louisiana. If you're in the rest of the country, go ahead and look at FEMA.gov. Now you may not get an exact location when you're looking on FEMA, but you can get a roundabout, especially when you start stretching out the map for your specific area. If you're wanting to put a structure there, they're not going to be able to give you a quote on flood insurance until you tell them exactly what kind of structure you're planning on putting there. They may recommend that you elevate the structure before you actually build it, and that can cost you money too. So those are things you're going to need to know ahead of time before you buy a piece of land. All of those things cost a lot of money, especially raising a house. <laughs> I've even seen in our area houses that are on stilts, like way up in the sky. It always makes me very nervous. <laughs> I don't like heights. I don't know about you, but I don't like heights. All right, this next website might seem petty to some of you, but to others that are in the working world and need to have internet, it is very important. There is a website called highspeedinternet.com and it will let you know if there is any high speed internet in that specific area. Luckily, there's so many more solutions when it comes to internet. You have satellite internet, you have AT&T internet, you've got all sorts of different solutions to the problem now, but just know that you have to find out if it actually can get internet to that specific lot itself. So start with the highspeedinternet.com first, just to see if you can get just regular internet out there. If you can't, you see if you can go ahead and get Elon Musk's Starlink out there. However you feel about the guy, if you need internet, doesn't matter. Go ahead and give him a call. See if you can get internet to that piece of land so you can build the dream home you want. The internet is crazy, but you know what's even crazier? Weather. And if you're very concerned about the weather in the specific area that you're looking to buy a piece of land, I suggest you go to weatherspark.com. Com. It literally shows every weather pattern that's happened in that specific area, and it gives you predictions of what they think is going to happen in the future. It will show you the rainfall in that specific area. It will show you how many times that it's had wildfires. That is a fun website. Again, it's one of those ones that once you start going down it, you're like, how did I spend four hours looking at weather in my specific area? I live here. I know what it does. So go to weatherspark.com so you can research that ahead of time before you ever sign on the dotted line for a piece of land. Do your research. It's part of your due diligence period. Oh, and here's another website that's going to be super useful to you if you're not looking just for internet and you want to know about if there's any kind of power going to that area and you're from out of town and you can't call a bunch of surveyors. You just want to get that information ahead of time. I want you to go to atlas.eia.gov. You can access interactive maps and data sets that show you information on a variety of energy related topics. You can view map and data and how electricity is generated in different regions of the United States, including sources of fuel such as coal and natural gas and renewable energy and the capacity of different power plants. If you're looking for oil and gas production, you can view maps and data about oil and gas production in different regions of the United States too, including locations of oil fields and gas fields, pipelines, and refineries. If you're worried about an area that's sucking up way too much energy, you can view maps on data about energy consumption in different regions of the United States, such as electricity, natural gas, transportation fuels, and sectors that consume the most energy. If you're looking to live off the grid and you're wanting to know more about renewable energies, you can look on there too. You can view maps and data about renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, and potential for generating electricity in different regions of the United States. That website is really good, but I know that there's other websites out there that are for free that people should know about if they're buying a piece of land. If you happen to know one, please put it in the comment section below to help others. That would be really helpful to everybody. Just know you're going to have to spell it out. You can't actually put the full link in there because YouTube doesn't allow that. I also know I didn't cover everything you need to know about buying land because I've done that in these videos right here. So you're going to want to check these out. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.